All right, guys, how's it going? We are going to uh, look at, you know, one of my favorite prospects and a quarterback in Brock Glenn out of Memphis, Tennessee, that is one of the more intriguing guys in this class. And the thing about Brock, you know, before we start this video is Brock is, you know, he's listed as a three-star. He's the 30th ranked quarterback. But the great news for Brock is that he's getting offers from Oklahoma State. He's getting offers from Mississippi State, which is, you know, has very prolific passing numbers with Mike Leach. So Tim Rattay and Mike Leach are recruiting him. And also Brock Glenn as well is getting offers from Missouri and Eli Drinkowitz, Virginia Tech. So he's a quarterback that's gaining a lot of traction in the process. And, you know, theory for why he's maybe a three-star is at a camp maybe his arm strength, you know, he is listed at 6'2". There are guys that are taller than him, physically built bigger. And his arm strength, I'd say, is 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 very is is good actually. You know, his arm strength is 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 pretty dang good. It it's not elite elite. And sometimes, you know, Brock Glenn will throw balls out to the uh to the flat where he'll just use touch passes that won't impress. But this is one of my favorite throws from Brock, and maybe it's the way that the light covers this throw. But you look at the drop, and then the thing I love is that he really controls the ball over the middle of the field. Meaning, like, this throw needs to be thrown on a trajectory where it needs to be, you know, it needs to get over the linebacker. But it's a type of throw that you need to put mustard on this football. I mean, you know, you need to, again... It's a it's a tight window. You can't lob it. You also can't drive it because if you drive it, it's not going to gain the proper height. But it's thrown on a line, and 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 that's what I really love to see. And then look at this drop. I mean, this is an athletic drop. You know, he does throw it a little bit like Jared Goff, and you could say, ah, Jared Goff wasn't a great NFL quarterback. He was a heck of a quarterback at Cal. So it's kind of a little like a little bit of a sidearm delivery. But hey, the ball's still going about fifty yards in the air. You know, so that's what you really like. The ball's still going 55 yards in the air. We don't know the wind contours on that play. He reminds me of several quarterbacks when you watch him. I mean, here, you know, he's throwing this ball up. That looks like Luke Falk at uh, Washington State. That's what Mike Leach will say. You know, they'll say that's a lob and he's throwing off whatever. But here, you know, Brock Glenn looks like a you know, different guy. I mean, here Brock Glenn, like maybe it's the jersey again, but Brock Glenn here, man, physical, big, you know, 6'2 guy. And, and here he's throwing the ball a little bit like Brian Hoyer at Michigan State. Here he's really peppering in the football. So Brock Glenn, look at look at his athletic ability. I mean, the guy can really slide his feet in the pocket, gains great depth on the drop. You know, look at how he gains depth on the drop. He just has incredible footwork. This is a tremendous rep. This needs to be the rep that's shown the each college scout of Brock Glenn. All right? This needs to be the rep right here. Because what is Brock going to do? He has a couple plays on film that are wow plays from really a three-star quarterback that should be a four-star quarterback at this point. So Brock Glenn here, he takes the snap, right? He has a free rusher coming into his face, all right? But what does he do? He slides up in the pocket to get by the free rusher. And he slides up in the pocket, and then he resets. He gathers. So that's that, that takes a lot of talent. A lot of guys would panic in that situation, would roll outside of the pocket, would try to make something happen. But there he shows pocket integrity, which is really, really good. And now he has to complete a crossing route where the linebacker is eyeing him up, and he needs to anticipate this throw and throw this guy open, which is exactly what he's doing. He's already throwing the ball. And and he hits and he hits the slant with tremendous velocity. I mean, this is a play again that Jimmy G will make, the healthy Jimmy G will make. This is a play like that Jared will make. Again, the linebackers eyeing him up, throws it to a spot. I mean, that's just awesome. All right. So Brock Glenn, even though he's a three star, he's got to have the confidence that he's a five star. Here he kind of lobs it up. It's a good play though because the receiver makes him right. 
Fourth and two, little rollout. That's a classic 49ers play. So this guy reminds me of one of my favorite quarterbacks, and that's Jimmy Garoppolo, a rhythmic passer. But but Brock Glenn, I mean, at 6'2", he does have great athletic ability. I mean, even though the guy's not a running quarterback, he might not have great running stats. You just look at the lower half, and you just look at how he can generate, you know, how, how he moves in the pocket. The guy really is a good, good athlete. So so this is just, again, this, this tape is incredibly intriguing to watch. And here he has good control of the football. That's more of a throw here. That's a solid fade route that Brock Glenn just threw right there. And now here you see him in the Wolverine gear, and, and here he looks like a complete stud. You know, he looks like, again, he weighs, you know, it, when, it, when they're wearing the gray uniforms, it looks like Brock Glenn might weigh 180 pounds here. It looks like he's 250. He's jacked. So, what? Like, look at that. That's plenty athletic. That's plenty. That's a ton of wiggle in the pocket. So, you know, there's some quarterbacks who have great high school tape, but again, he's got to have the confidence because right now, I think you know, I like that he is getting the offers. You know, at you know the SEC level because the guy does have the talent. So there, oh, look at the full pump fake. All right, that's what you like to see. Maybe the guy has big hands; he's able to fully pump fake the ball. That's something that you want to see in this process. You know, again, you're not privy to the information of hand size, but this is what if if you have big hands, you're allowed you, you, your pump fakes will be better like Brett Favre and Josh Allen so here he's able to throw the ball where his guy can get it the throwing motion is compact right again it's kind of hoisted up like a Garoppolo like a Hoyer throwing motion guy would be a Patriot quarterback I mean he hits the he hits the mid-range right Jared Stidham uh, I love this throw I love the Joe Burrow uh you know jog after the throw that's what I love. That shows a little confidence. That's what I, that's what I want to see in the tape. It's like, yep, I know it's a touchdown. Easy money, easy slant. Good night. Good night. A good night. I know I know the look we're getting, all right? Whatever this look is going to be a little cover 0, cover 1. The safety's not there. So, you know, this guy is going to come up and he, and then this is just a whole shot. You know, right by the guy's ear, he's going to hit these guys that are just chilling watching the game in the back of the end zone. So that that's that's what Brock Glenn's gonna do. Memphis, Tennessee, um, Brock Glenn. Uh, again, this guy is a fun quarterback to watch on tape. This is classic Garoppolo, right? You could say, ah, the happy feet, the happy feet. But then he, you know, he guides the ball. This is Jimmy G, prime Jimmy G. Bam. Even makes the guy fall down. That's how intimidating the happy feet were. Woo! Skates, roller skating rink, happy feet style. Puts everything he has into that throw, and and that's the thing. Like he'll show up at a camp, right? He'll he'll throw it a little bit like Garoppolo with a funky release, and they'll see his arm strength and say, "Yeah, it's all right." But look at him in the game. In the game, this guy's an in the game kind of guy. You know, this guy like like Jeff Garcia might go to practice. He might be okay, but in the game. In the game, this guy has good instincts. So you really got to watch the tape. Like, how does this guy do in the game? And in the game, this guy can muster up. This guy can hit slants all day. This guy can be very, very athletic in the pocket, as he shows right there, as he'll even add more arm strength to the pocket. That is a beautiful pocket, I have to say. So people will look at that throw and be like, wow, that's an easy throw. He just lobs it, so... Um, but you know, I, I really like Brock Glenn a lot. Um, as you guys could probably tell, cause he just does a lot of interesting things from the quarterback position. He has interesting mobility, interesting throwing motion, a little under recruited right now as a three-star kid. Um, you know, again, would be interesting in the Mike Leach offense, but really Oklahoma State, I mean, he really does have movement skills as well, but in an air raid system, he does make great decisions and he's deadly accurate in the intermediate game. Again, Eastern Illinois, Jimmy Garoppolo comes to mind. Ironically, Brian Hoyer comes to mind. Um, 
and uh, the, you know this this guy has you know s- some ability he really does and you know he does have if I had to say you know the guy honestly projects very well to the pro game as well I mean look at him field this football and then throw it immediately so the guy has really exciting highlight tapes where he could be an NFL quarterback could be a round two round three guy in about four years and he could be a really really solid uh you know a, a college quarterback he could be an awesome awesome college quarterback and you know a lot of that depends on where he goes in this process you know if he goes to Mississippi State he is going to put up huge numbers so it's you know listen you go to Mississippi State it's hard to separate yourself you got to win there but I, I believe that he can the good news is it's close to home in Memphis there too um, but I, I think again productivity this guy has a lot of lot of ability uh, what, what offense would you tailor around Brock Glenn um, I would tailor a lot of pro style stuff a lot of slants a lot of play action bootlegs so honestly the Shanahan offense the west coast is absolutely perfect for him because you get a lot of play action bootleg stuff you know, you hit a lot of slants. Um, I don't think he's a play action, you know, throw the ball 50 yards, you know, down the field like Carson Wentz in Indianapolis kind of play. And he does like playing it in, in structure, you know, kind of like Jared did as well, Jared Goff. Um, so, you know, I he, he could be a rhythmic passer, but again, he has the ability under under duress to make, you know, superhero plays when he needs to be. So, um, again, he's a really fun quarterback to watch. He, he's an athlete, you know, his tape, again, you know, even though that ball was maybe in the wind, it wasn't the tightest throw. His tape at times, it's wild because he goes from like a Garoppolo kind of guy to a quarterback that can just, you know, to a quarterback that they could be Superman, like these types of throws here are Superman type of throws. So he can make the easy stuff, but he can also throw the back shoulder. So, you know, it's an interesting mix. Like, yeah, I think like you got to watch what Trey Lance does with Kyle, um, you know, the RG3 stuff that they did. Um, so really, you know, the play action, the bootleg game, as it gets older, expand it. You, you watch what Drew Brees and Joe Brady were able to do with Sean Payton. That's obviously a really good system for him because, you know, Drew Brees has that quick release. He's able to go from intermediate to deep throws all over the field. So, again, that's kind of like pro-style stuff. You know, again, you're not doing the run-read option stuff. It's not going to be the Spencer Sanders stuff. He's not really a runner with the football. Um, trying to think of other offenses out there. Like even Michigan State's offense with Peyton Forn. I think that this guy can even do more than like a Michigan state or like those Northeastern Boston colleges of the world. So I I do think Mississippi state's an interesting option for him. Uh, Oklahoma state with Mike Gundy, uh, the quarterbacks there uh, with Mason Rudolph and um, Brandon Whedon and, and, and Spencer Sanders. I mean, that is really an awesome spot to play quarterback. So it's going to be fun to see, you know, where Brock Glenn ends up and we'll have an update of course, when, where he ends up and how he's going to fit into the recruiting cycle as this plays out. So, all right, guys, it was fun. Uh, thanks so much for watching today, 2023, our first batch of quarterback reviews, film reviews.